Hey guys, in this video we're going to cover how to make a backing track to practice with for guitar. This method we're using will be completely free, including the music and MIDI, as well as all the software. So to get started, there's a few pieces of software we need. First is Tux Guitar. This is a free guitar pro tab program. We'll be downloading a pro tab online for a song, then using this program to export MIDI files. If you can't find a pro tab for the song you want to make a backing track for, this method won't work. First, search on Google for a pro tab for the song you want. Then just download it. Some of these sites will make it seem like you need to purchase their software to use guitar pro tabs, but you don't. Once you have the file downloaded, just open it with Tux Guitar. Tux Guitar won't be used to make the pro tab, but it will be used to export the MIDI. You can play along with the music in Tux Guitar if you want, but it's more difficult to change the settings like the tempo and levels of the tracks, and the instruments don't sound as good. Before we export the MIDI, I recommend deleting some of the tracks we don't need. Right click on the guitar and Synth Bass 2 track and remove them. This will obviously change based on your project. Now we can export the MIDI file. Go to the file menu and select export, then MIDI. Save the MIDI file somewhere on your computer. Before closing, take note of the different instruments we have in the Pro Tab and what order they're in. This will make the next step easier. The next piece of software we'll need is called Cakewalk by BandLab. This is the program we'll use to actually make the backing track. I'll try to cover this process in as much detail as you'll need, but I've also created an entire series on using Cakewalk if you need more information. First, start a new project. Then go to the file menu and import a MIDI file. Now we should see there are five MIDI files in our project, but that can change depending on the pro tab you're using. For some reason it also created a blank track first, so we'll just delete that. All the tracks are displayed in the same order as Tux Guitar. The first thing I want to do is move everything to an instrument track so we can play them back and output audio. To create a new instrument track, right click on the blank track area and select Insert Instrument. We'll select SI Bass as our first instrument. If it doesn't show up, it may be because it was not recently used and is hidden in the menus down below, or we don't have it installed with the program. If that's the case, check out the first video in the Cakewalk series where we installed it with the program. Now that we have the instrument track created, click and drag the base MIDI file onto the instrument track. Then click the blank area where the MIDI file was to deselect the instrument track, right click on the original base track, and delete it. We'll do this again for the next four tracks, using SI Drums, SI Strings, SI Electric Piano, and SI Bass again. At this point, all the MIDI files should be on instrument tracks, but we have a few more things to do. One of the problems we have when we export bass from Tux Guitar with this file is that the bass is an octave too low. When that happens, there's no way for the SI Bass plugin to play back those notes. This can depend on the pro tab you choose, and you might not always have this issue, but if you do, here's how to fix it. Right click on the MIDI file for the bass, select Process Effect, MIDI, and Transpose. We'll transpose up by 12, which is an entire octave. We'll also do this for the synth bass track because we'll have the same issue there. Now we have all our instruments playing. We've successfully created a backing track, but there's more we can do with it to make it sound better so it's more fun to use. The first way to improve the sound of our backing track is to change all the presets for the virtual instrument from default to something that works better for our song. To do this, we need to open the instrument plugin again by clicking on the instrument icon for that track as shown. I'll use the drop down to change the preset. I'll change bass to nice bass, drums to nice recording kit, strings to fast attack to make it sound more like a synth and keep the timing right, piano to lush electric, and bass to dance synth. Now we want to do some quick mixing to adjust the levels. I'll keep the bass and drums high and lower the synth bass and strings. Finally, I'll add a small amount of compression and reverb to the master channel. When you're done, you can go to the file menu, select export and create an audio file for your backing track. Or you can keep the entire project in Cakewalk. This allows you to do things like transpose the sound through MIDI, change the tempo, and change the levels of the instrument to make practicing easier. Thanks for checking out this video on creating a free backing track using Tux Guitar and Cakewalk by BandLab. 
If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.